the man of fright. And help us to resist of presence rule with all our will. And right forevermore. And help us to resist of press uphold if all our will. And might forevermore. And then, yes, football is uh, probably the best media for, in terms of communication in, 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 in the world. And in Africa, it, is, it becomes fundamental. When, when you're enjoying the game, you forget about the poverty, the strife, um, the hunger, and all those negative issues that affect us as a people and as a continent. So, that is where you can forget about all your sorrows and just have fun. The atmosphere of the storm is very fantastic, very phenomenal. The crowd, the colors and the flag, colors, red, blue, green and the black, the star at the center. <laughs> Junior Gogo has opened the floodgates for the Blasters. It's been a long time coming, but you can see the relief on the face. MTN Africa Cup of Nations, Ghana 2008. 16 nations, 4 cities, and 32 matches. Live on all TV stations in Ghana. Football, uniting our continent. Africa is looking at the African, African Nations Cup as a vehicle to, to help poor countries uh, develop their infrastructure. But also the tournament itself, I think it's, it's, it's a celebration of, of, of being free from colonial rule. Uh, if you look at the way, not only the players, but the supporters as well, the, the, the passionate way they go, they paint their faces. Some of them take their clothes off and paint their faces and their bodies and they sing and they, they, they dance in the stands. And, and you would think that they would fight, but they won't. At the end of the day, they go home, they celebrate. They are just happy to them to watch 90 minutes of pure entertainment. That's what football it is about in Africa. in die arme landen, de arme streken in Brazilië en Afrika, die, die, die ja, als die een bal hebben, alles maar voor de bal en op blote pootjes, die gaan op de straat voetballen. Dus die hebben een voordeel met hun talent dat ze elke dag op de straat voetballen. Wat vroeger in Nederland ook was, de talenten werden ontdekt, de Kruijfs en de Hanegems en de, de Piet Keizer, op de straat.
that the African football has changed now because we have a lot of uh, important players. If you look at Drogba, that Eto, Michael Asien, so and all this come maybe in the last uh, eight, eight years, you know, that uh, the African player has been accepted in, in Europe to play in teams like Barcelona. If you look at 10 years ago, there was a time when the African player playing in Europe was, uh, didn't get permission to come and play in Africa for Nation because of the, the club was more important mm -hmm. than the national team. Mm -hmm. and, and yes, you know, the, the player, ultimately, his, his, uh, his whole giving is to the club because they are the people who pay his wages, they are the people who have been responsible mm -hmm. for him to come and play on that, uh, on that level. Mm -hmm. But there is also a national pride. So once they come back, they can be able to represent the countries and, and, and be able to play. And I think we must also give credit to the players that we have today and the managers. You know, with the, whether it's Alex Ferguson, whether it is uh, Asen Wenger, whether it is Mourinho, and he's there when he says no, he will release the players to go home and play mm -hmm. in Africa Cup, and, and that is good because yeah. then there was no uh, misunderstanding w w whatsoever. So the African player felt liberated right. to come from the club to come and represent his country. Watch African players like Michael Essien, Mido, Sivusiso Zuma, Didier Drogba, Samuel Eto. Frederick Canute, shine and battle it out from the group stages to the finals. Tune in Central, daily. West and particularly South African uh, teams, the approach is like a celebration. You know, they, 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 they enjoy the game. They like, to, they like to express themselves, so to speak. They like to, to, to dribble a lot. They like to, to shine and like dance on top of the ball and do a trick or two and, and just uh, put the ball between your legs and to them, the football is like a celebration. Maybe it has to do with uh, our background from, from um, the time during our struggle for independence, struggle for democracy. About the only place where you, you, you could find um, expression to express your, your feelings was in a football field. So it was the only place where you could experience joy. 16 teams, one is Ghana, 15 other teams, they all want to win, so it depends. And Ghana have more heart, more skill, more goals, more determination. Yeah, I, prom I promise that we're going to win the tournament. Promise you're going to win. Yes. Okay. They are going straight semi-final, they are from the quarter-final to then semi-final, they are going to take the cup. Yeah, yeah. definitely, I wish, yes, and I believe Ghana is going to win the cup. The next favorite after Ghana is Ghana. Say you just can't live that negative way. If you know what I mean, make way for the positive day. Cause it's news. And if it's a new feeling, look here, said it's a new science. Oh, what a new day.
my to be precise with you, I like football, I eat football, I sleep football, my everything is sport. That is my hobby that I like most. And they, they, they always perform very well. And if today they are not performing, we still have to support them and back them. I'm the full supporter of Black Star. Because we are playing at home, the, the tension is on, on, on the Ghanaians and all the supporters are, are, are supporting the Ghanaians. So we had a lot of tension there. The, the guy who took the penalty, that Asamoah Jan, did a very great job. He put the ball into the roof. That's where the professional players always put the ball. So he placed the ball to Musule Mutare, and Musule Mutare shoot with his left leg, left leg. That's when he zoomed to the roof. So I think it's a great goal. Yeah, I've got a, I bought a ticket for Ghana, uh, Morocco, uh, Ghana Namibia match. I'm so excited and happy to go and watch the match. And I think we're going to win this match almost about six goals so, so that we top the group. But it's the eerste die heel goed wijdt. Ik heb niet zo heel veel wedstrijden gecoacht op een bank waar 45.000 mensen om je heen zaten. Dus dat vond ik voor mezelf een van de leukste wedstrijden. Last night against Namibia was a very difficult game because the strategy that Namibia holds was they play the midfield role and the defensive role. So you cannot penetrate through the defense. They pack almost about nine. Nine midfield and the defenders. So it's good we had a one goal. You know, that's that's how football is. Again, it's good we are here again to play the Moroccans. It's Ghana blast against the Moroccans. I hope the match will be a very tough match. Already Ghana have been qualified for the next stage, but I think Ghana is going to win by two goals today. Mr. Mutari tipped the ball past the wall, then Pesier come out and flick the ball inside the net. That was a spectacular free kick. I've seen it right in my life. It's like, it's like, it's like, uh, 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 I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to put it. It's, it's more, more than a Christmas. pour la troisième place, ce jeu de quelques centaines de personnes, sauf pour l'Allemagne au début de la saison. At, at this Africa Cup of Nations, that finally, you know, we get that global audience, you know, that was never there before. The football is now on, on, on TV, yeah. you know, on different channels, on Eurosport, if you think, and the people, and on CNN, on BBC, you know, the other day I had to laugh myself because I saw an interview of some of our boys, the coach, and one of our boys on BBC, and those things never used to happen. Even CNN, you know, never used to pass the Africa Cup of Nations, and now yet, and yet now they show the preparation. They show the the, the every time it is it is it is there. So it uh, it it is maybe uh, that times have changed in the world that we live in today. Mm -hmm. But I think that is it is good for for this uh, immense sport of ours, which is which is football, to get that recognition yeah. that was missing before. For years now, the African continent has been known for floods, for famine, for, for drought, for, 
for HIV, AIDS, and, and quite a lot of negative things. And maybe, in my view, I think football can play a large role in helping open the eyes of the world that Africa is not just about famine and drought and all that. Africa is also about Didier Drogba, it is also about Nwanko Kanu and all these wonderful athletes that are in so much demand across the European circuit. Sometimes when you do a good story, something positive happens, it's not a story. It has to be negative to be a story, but this time around football in Africa is positive. <laughs>
come here, want to me, baby, just mess the side up. I want to let my son have a breath, breath, let me feel wild up. Hard up, I was in, I come here, want to me, baby, just mess the side up. I want to let my son have a breath, breath, let me feel wild up. I had a son in a while. I had a son in a city river. Oh, my baby. Nigeria is our big rival in football. When Ghana and Nigeria are playing, it's a very tough and tension match. Though Nigerians will try to make and pull something out, but we will show them that we are really the big stars in the whole world. And we have to tell them if they are called super eagles, we'll make them super chickens in the next few 90 minutes. That's what I got for you. So check out for the Black Stars and stay tuned with that. Yet, Nigeria scored a very first goal in that match. He came into the 18, so he wanted to turn and shoot the ball in the net. In the net. So Eric Addo kicked his leg and he scored down. It was, it was a clear penalty. Afterwards, uh, about, about, about two minutes, the stadium was very quiet. Italy, flick the ball past the wall, then Isin don't drop it and he went to the net. That's a, a step goal. Can I say something? They already it's one one, so they can't win zero six to zero. Okay. The score seven one. Okay. This is a mooi bal. Is that an offside? No, the Mingi is straight keurig af. And this is a rode kaart. This is a rode kaart. Ja, alleen op de keeper. Het is een geheide vrije trap. Dat kan niet anders. Het is de rechterrood. Natuurlijk, ze zullen protesteren dat het offside was, maar hier kan de scheidsrechter niets anders doen. Rood is de enige. Remedy. En zo ziet het er slecht uit voor Ghana. like this and it's called everybody is happy they move from their houses they don't stay in the house and after the match you see them trooping onto the compound the the, the street they stop all cars if you are eating your house they stop you they bring you to the the street to jubilate uh -huh. 
So that is what we are seeing now. And they will stay until 12 midnight. Uh -huh. Tomorrow like this, most people will not go to work because they have won. So that is what we are seeing now. Uh -huh. They are not harmful. They are very peaceful. They work with you and so on and so forth. So even the Nigerians, they sit down with them and drink with them. They don't harm them. Whatever they are doing, you also do with them. Uh -huh. So that is what we are seeing now. So it's all enjoying. Uh -huh. Africa, there's more many political, uh, there are more, many political organizations in the party. I mean, if you look at Ghana, maybe in Zambia, if, if I to give an example, and so all these parties, they are able to come together when there's a football match, because that is the only thing that they feel proud to be able to say. This is our own, our own, uh, our own. Um, uh, uh, they they grasp it with both hands to say this is this is from us. That's one major thing about that sport. It unites. So when you go to the stadium, you find people from different social classes mixing up. They don't care. I mean, they just let down their hair and have fun and enjoy the games. Sport can reach. I mean, people in in such a powerful way much more than you know politicians can do mm -hmm. in in sport for instance in south africa i think we are much more closer as a country because of sport much more than what politicians could have done mm -hmm. so uh, in in saying so um, football or sport will always be used uh, even in conflict areas as a form of motivation or bringing people together by using sport. It's, it's a word, it's a big word in English, it's called a palliative. A palliative is an escape out of your, your trouble, okay? It gives Africans an escape out of um, the reality, which is that there is famine, there is hard economic uh, times. People don't have enough money, but when it comes to football, they're able to find the money, okay? These are the real supporters of football. Like I said, we have uh, HIV and AIDS, which, which is amongst us and which is uh, something that uh, we have been able to live with uh, in, in the last 20 years. And uh, it has left a lot of uh, uh, difficulties and, and, and amongst our midst in, in, uh, in our societies in, in Africa. And, um, but we also need to bring something that is positive. We also need to bring something that can motivate the kids. To, to, to an African person, football is like a way out of the ghetto. We look at football, we look at uh, people like uh, Kalusha Bwala, for instance. Um, now lately, Steven Pinar, Aaron Mokwena, Benny McCarthy, Didier Drogba, uh, um, Nwanko Kanu, you look at them, what they have achieved on, on the football field, um, JJ Okocha, and uh, we, we, we all aspire to achieve what they have done. And we believe um, with more dedication Football can take you out of the ghetto. You can become somebody in life. You can be a respected member of the community um, if you do play football. It, it, it tells us about how, um, how important our politicians have to see football as a vehicle for social cohesion and political, you know, um, um, healing our political wounds on this epic encounter between the indomitable lions of Cameroon and the Black Stars who are currently huddled in a circle praying to the God above to grant them favor, mercy and bring them glory. But I guess the Cameroonians would have also said their prayers before stepping out onto the pitch. Will be on display today the Cameroonian God or oh, the Ghana God well, remains to be seen over the next 19 minutes. Remember, there's no goal. John Pencil cuts in with a shot. And the Cameroonian goalkeeper Carlos Idris Kameni. 
I think, I think this team can be taken on and beaten by, well, I, I, initially I said one goal. I'm really beginning to think that we can do it even with the two. If we continue to test them. How are your attempts in fate? You oh. indeed are tempting fate as Cameron go on the attack. Here. Quick slick passing, they count the Black Stars defense open. Surely that's number one! Alain in Kong! He scored for the Cameroon. The Black Stars have been stunned. It went quiet because I was I was very sad for Ghana to lose that match after they go because that is football and as I told you it's a football three things happens in football you win lose or draw we we, we, are, we are we are focusing forward to win the game and we were we're not able to win the game so we don't we don't have to booze our players we have to cheer them down because uh, we pay money to go and watch them and they, they, they always perform very well and if today they are not performing we still have to support them and back there i'm the full supporter of black star ladies and gentlemen they went for the battle they did your best but the best wasn't enough for us but all the same they're supposed to go for let me see your flag work it up for black star yes, best foot forward um, a lot of people have always questioned the readiness of Africa on a, for an African country to host the entire world this is an African thing so every African who has the the, the competence should you know be, be brought on board so that together we can make Africa look good in the eyes of the world I'm very very confident that it will be one of the best tournaments ever you know so far as the World Cup is concerned they know what they have to do to make sure that uh, a third world country stages a first class World Cup in South Africa.
Bye.